Hey guys, so I'm going to have to keep this one kind of simple yet again, which really kind of sucks that in these last few days leading up to the 31st that I'm just really busy, but they came back to me today and they were like, hey, we can't really fill three hours uh, with music, so do you want to come in tomorrow and do some more acting stuff? Which I really am excited about because when I went into work today, um, I was kind of um, kind of depressed that I wasn't going to be with the kids and teaching and stuff. I really, really enjoyed it as stressful as it was. It was, it was awesome. Oh, and they've decided that they want to do a one-act play for the performance in a week. So I get to put that together too. Yay! Today I just wanted to do kind of a simple and kind of a serious uh, topic. If you looked into the mirror of air said, what do you think you would see? I thought about this one for a little while and I'm, I, I don't know that I actually know what I would see. I mean, I know that there are things that I want in this life, but uh, I'm not entirely sure what the mirror would show me specifically. I think I would probably see all my pets. I know that that might sound a little bit weird, but the family members that I have lost, um, I've, you know, I've accepted it and I know that they're in a better place and I know that they aren't in pain anymore. I think as far as me accomplishing anything, I think I would definitely see myself as probably a successful director. I've always loved acting and I've always loved comedy, but the older I've gotten, the more I've become passionate about directing. One person I really look up to and would really love to be like, is Charlie Chaplin? Not exactly like Charlie Chaplin, but the way he went about things because he made the world laugh, but at the same time, he helped change the world. Like he, he just tried to make the world a better place and not just through comedy and laughter. I don't want fame and fortune so I can be like, look at me, look at me. I want fame and fortune so I can decrease world suck. I want to make the world laugh. I want to make it you know, more joyful and I want people to think about humanity and and reaching out to fellow human beings. And I think that's what he did and that is what I would love to do. Apparently if I looked in the mirror I'd see myself wearing a waistcoat, bowler hat, and a cane. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, and I don't think that I would get like stuck looking at it as far as like an obsessing like thinking that it is you know, telling the future or anything like that. But I think if I knew where it was, I would look at it every once in a while just to motivate me. Because I know it's not, you know, the future, but to me I know that it is attainable and it would kind of give me that motivation. I think that's what I would I would look at it for. And on another note, I still kind of want to know what Dumbledore saw exactly. But there's kind of a fun little mystery to that too, huh? So if you looked into the mirror of Erised, what do you think you would see? And if you think you would see me in a top hat, a waistcoat, and a cane, that is awesome.